I walked through several times and I didn't really see any jewelry. Put this in your shade, it looks better. Put in the shade. In the bright light, it just blasts you. I mean, this is the stuff that you like. Well, this is sterling. And this is sterling. That, that I thought might be sterling. But I didn't see that. We're, I mean, like... She had a tree with all these nasty necklaces hanging oh, on there. Oh, that's what I saw. I dug through it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't dig through it. See, this is quartz. Is it quartz? Yeah. I thought it was plastic, but yeah, no, it's quartz. quartz. I feel and it. And it's got a sterling silver uh, clasp. Yeah, so she had... But that, I like it because it looks that, like ice cubes. You know, cubes. that's the one I told you about. I said, oh, sh there's a lady that has some hanging, um, but it's all new This stuff. is uh, the black poison It could be black onyx, but I'm not sure. But it's poison Oh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Yeah. And then this is sterling? Yeah, this is Isn't that a name on a designer? 925 here and it had a little tag that I don't know the maker. Okay, I'll figure that out mark. later. And then this one also This is the nicest, I think. Was actually. marked here 925. Does this one have age? And it might this might be a little bit of gold that's on it. Okay. But I like the link is different. That's the only way I'm buying silver lately yeah, is if yeah, it's, it's gotta be nice. I mean, look at these nice they're different. And it's this is probably unusual. smoky quartz yeah, and I was citrine say quartz or something. Yeah, cuz that's probably citrine and smoky and quartz. Shadow. It like shows so, better in the shadow. Um, screen. Yeah. All right, at least you found something. I'm going to set up and then I'll walk around one more time. She charged just... me five bucks a piece. Well, that's not but bad. But I figured I could at least get ten bucks a piece on them. Nice. No, this get, should be like get, 25, this, this, 30. This, yeah, this should be like 30. This should be 30, 20, but I can't. 20. I won't well, be maybe able to get online 20. or something. Like, that one at least 15. I, I think, maybe 10 I think at least worst. 15 to 30 each. So it's it was yeah. a good deal. Yeah. One piece one piece will sell, it'll pay for everything. Yeah, but it's like I got flea market brain. That's I know, I know, I know. It's rough. Alright, I'm gonna set These up. I had to clean. They're really bad. You gonna do them tonight? You're gonna put them nah, you shouldn't put them out, I guess, right? Do it tonight. No, I'm not putting it out today. Okay, let me set up. Okay, Saturday. And we're not going to any sales today because there were hardly any sales, right? Well, there's sales, but one here, one there. There's like all over the place. Yard. Yeah. It's like so we're going to like the closest market there we is. Need, to, we need to make money. Yeah, let's make some money today. You know, instead of just because I have a lot of stuff, I have more stuff than money. You know. Um, but yeah, so we're going to North Bergen. North Bergen is what like ten minutes down the road yeah. with with like with obeying local speed limits and stopping for a bunch of traffic lights. That guy does me up. His lights are so bright. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, this one's a weird market. And it's uh, Saturdays we normally don't do, you know. Well, I put it on Craigslist. Yeah, I noticed. I saw that. I wish that they would just switch this to Sunday, but I guess not, right? I guess they can't. The town won't allow. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why they... I guess because the North Bergen Blue laws or something. Or I think that's why they can't have it on Sunday. I don't think so. Yeah, because that like other. Line are open. Yeah, that's true. And, they and have... that's not Bergen County. That's Hudson County. Oh, is it? All right. So they don't have a blue law. So they have North Bergen and Hudson County, but not Bergen County. <laughs> okay. All right. So anyway. Yeah, it's only Bergen County that still has that. I know. You know, I'm. I suppose if they put it to a vote at some point. Well, I think what the issue is, like in Paramus where the mall is, yeah, you have a large, in the, around that area, all the towns surrounding that area also, you have a large Jewish population. So they're like, we need to shop. Who are religious, yeah. and their Sabbath is Saturday, it's not Sunday. So right. they don't have the weekend to go to the flea market, um, right. the mall, mall yeah. or the stores because they can't shop on Saturdays. No. And nothing is open on Sunday. So not they've been in that area. trying to fight the law. Yeah, they're gonna beat it but at some point. Business always the residents runs. in the area don't want it changed because they don't want because the traffic on a Saturday around there is like horrendous. Yeah. So they're worried that, you know, their Sundays will be the same and they don't want that. Yeah, but it'd probably help bring down like but I would think if it's open on Sunday, it might cut down on the Saturday traffic because people will be like, oh, I don't have to go today, I go tomorrow. Also, you know, it would so, help the the, yeah. the business uh, area in terms of like bringing more money, more tax money in, just an extra day. Well, would you know, it just more consumers. on how many older residents are still in the area to fight it, because I'm sure the newer, younger residents don't, don't care. care. They're like, who cares? Oh, come on, boss, I what know. are you doing? I mean, thank God we're not that far away. Like, dude. <laughs> This is what we got to put up. I, you can't tell, but we're going like 
<laughs> you might think we're going like really oh, fast. Oh, he was wanting to pick her up, but it's like she yeah. would wave to you if she wanted you. Now let's go. Yeah, but she's looking at her phone. He should have flashed her lights or honked a horn or something. That's know? usually what they do. They just beat their horn. Yeah. And you know you what it up. is? These jitneys, I get it. You know, there's, there's, this is a very highly populated area. They're useful. Oh yeah. Hell and yeah. they're cheaper than the New Jersey transit buses. And faster. Well, they're not faster. No, they, not faster like, because you the know. The bus from oh come on. They, the bus from here goes to lights. the New Jersey transit bus is from here all go towards the city. Port Authority, yeah. But like I could take this bus and go to Jersey City. Yep. Because some of them go all the way to Newport. Yeah, when I meant the faster is they come way faster. The other ones are on a well, schedule. Well, because there's just so many of them. Yes. That just shows it. Is there like nobody in front of him? I can't tell. He's a... Like, let's go. Are there a bunch of people behind no, us? No, there's nobody in front of him. No, what about behind us? We're like 50 people. Oh, like... Now he's being on, a dick. No, there's a red light. No, now there's okay. a red light. But he doesn't have to crawl to the red light. But still, I understand there's a red Maybe light. Maybe his, his uh, acceleration now, pedal is stuck. pull over and pick stuck. those guys up and let me get around Thank you. God. I was going to say but that. there's another one two cars ahead. So, so it doesn't matter. Well, they, they, see, that's just it. These guys that run the, that drive these things. They fill up quick, Don't though. own them. No. They lease them. Yeah. And from what I understand, they have to put out like a thousand bucks before they can even take the thing out. Yeah. And they're, they just raised their price to a dollar seventy-five. Yeah. I don't know if it's per zone or if it's per trip. With them, it's probably per trip. I don't know. Yeah, it depends. But it's much cheaper than. Sometimes the you ask them where you're going into. You're going into the city, and they charge you more. They're not really flat rate. I, I don't think. You know? No, they're a dollar seventy-five. Now the one thing is the kids that were going up to the high school when Daisy went to high school, they only tra- they only took a dollar from the kids. Yeah, a lot of times. Was really nice. Yeah, that was cool. You know, they're only charging the kids a dollar to go from one side of the town to the other. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah, and, and these aren't but, that bad. They're kind of like they're. But there's just so many of them. Yes. But there's, I don't know how they make money. There's, there's a lot of people here. You know what I mean? And the, uh, there's, if there's a lot of them, that means there aren't enough buses. You know what I mean? New, Jer- New Jersey Transit, instead of like raising prices, well, could also, provide well, get more customers. You know what I mean? Ninety-eight percent of these buses are Spanish. Do I not have my lights on? No, my lights are on. Yeah, I think um, you got to be on. Yeah, because your dashboard's on. They're Spanish run, Spanish owned. So because the population around here is highly Spanish, yes, they're right more here. comfortable uh, going into things where people speak Spanish. Yeah, but it's part of how like. Oh, we're almost here already. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, we've been... I turned this on like a minute after we started going. Dude! Stay on your side. Serious. Like, come on. Yeah, I turned this on a minute after we started heading. And we were driving at, what, like five miles per hour? It's good I learned how to drive in the friggin' Bronx because... (laughs) Yeah. And and, and not, not the suburban part of the Bronx. The urban. I got a feeling we should just... All right, let me turn this off. We're here. Well, I might as well film my space. Uh, they let me spread out a lot today, which is great. You know, I put a lot of stuff. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So this is Marie's beautiful jewelry. When we get to my stuff, I'm just going to say what I've been doing. Right here. I put out, like, uh, my normal two big tables and the four tables. You know, the two big tables and two small tables. Then I put uh, the full, the black table and the white table over there. So I just went along. Um, here's my regular stuff. Like the video games I've been bringing out. Nothing too special here. Uh, I brought out AJ's case. Uh, they like your stuff, AJ, but they don't like the $20. Uh, but this is a different market. The clientele here is a little different. So what I did for them is, like, Blu-rays I'm selling two, three for five today. But I made a $4 three for ten table. Um, but... What I did was I got a whole big dollar row. So all of this stuff, I'm just telling people. I'm doing like a five for five. Like, on some of this stuff, I'm telling people $2, three for five. And mostly the DVDs and the CDs and the records, right? But I'm doing a five for five deal. So they buy five or more items, and I'm just doing a buck a piece on them. So here, I'll start at the end. Oh, I forgot to say, we caught somebody shoplifting today. That guy right there. There's this. 
<laughs> okay, well, anyway. So that's what I'm doing. I tell people $2, 2 for 3 5 for 5 Any, any, any thing more than five items of bucket bees. So I got a bunch of CDs, a bunch of DVDs, and then just rando stuff. And I even threw in the records today because uh, these are not the best. So let, like Leaf Garrett, or where is it? Yeah, whatever. So I'm sure you saw it. So anyway, we'll see how we do. So far it's slow. Uh, it's lunchtime, and I almost have the rent back. But uh, usually these markets don't pick up till a little, little later anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, another, I have another severed hand related uh, joke. Uh, I left the hand over here. Wait, I'm coming to it. Someone held it up. Um, they showed it to me, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I was looking for that. I was like this. There. <laughs> so, in North Bergen, they don't really open up till eight. Uh, I don't know what they call the street, but we're down. We're off Bergen Line Avenue. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So they're not going to close the street till eight. Now, to, tomorrow they're doing daylight savings time, so it'll be earlier. It'll be lighter out earlier. It'll be. It'll be. Like, let's see. Probably be light out at six, right? I don't remember that. Set the clocks back tomorrow. But uh, no, spring full back. Yeah, full back. Get an extra hour of sleep. But as you see, the cops will come and close down the street till eight o'clock on a dot here. So I'm actually I'm getting a head start on loading the car because this is where my spot's going to be. So that's what I'm doing now. <sighs> I feel like I'm in the way. All right, I'm I'm the scout. I'm scouting out. I'm seeing if there's anything here that I want to buy today. Hey, how are you? Uh, I want to see how many vendors. Who's got what? Just in case. I'm scouting out for Marie. If there's any jewelry, jewelry, or whatever. Oh, there's people I know here. I am. Um, I just figured, why not take a quick look just to see who's here. Uh, one person, uh, our friend Ben, had a bunch of jewelry boxes. So I, I went over and I started shaking each box. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm looking to see if there's jewelry in there. But anyway, let me just... Okay, it's not going to be too long a market. Let me just take a quick look, and then I'll head back and finish setting up mine. Okay, so they're setting up slow. I saw one thing that I recognized as being good. It was like... Uh, uh, it was uh, from the show Venture Brothers, and it was in box action figures, right? And I recognized it as being good, so I looked it up, and it sells for like... Well, I saw one at auction for like 90 or something. They say, well, anyway, I went to them and said, how much is this? They're like 60 bucks. I'm like, oh, well. So I'm not really sure. If it only sells for 100, 60 is too much. So that's the only thing I saw that I recognized that might be good. And then, so, but I'm assuming that vendor will know, like, it's like, thank you, internet. Thank you, eBay, uh, completed prices uh, for making it so everybody knows what everything's worth. <laughs> you will. Thank you, I guess. eBay's like, you're welcome. But all right, I'm gonna set up some more and then I'll walk around again. It's funny, I'm so slow. Or as I'm gonna say, I'm so slow at uh, using my phone. I gotta learn how to just whip it out and automatically use it. So anyway, uh, Scientology guys are here today if you wanna get a stress test. Okay, so far I don't see anything for me. I've already walked through a few times. I'll probably walk through one more time. I saw some toilet paper. Like five bucks. I can use that for sure. I mean, you know, I'm going to set up, and then I'll just take one more last walk. I didn't really see anybody. The only people I saw that had stuff that I might have been interested in had, um, I don't know, higher prices. I'd have to check and scan everything, and I just, I don't care. You know? I'm really only looking for stuff that I like. Or good for eBay. Like, ooh, free candy. Uh, take one. I'll take two. I'm be too greedy. I already had a few anyway. <sighs> Got some Reese's Pieces. All right, I'm heading back to Marie. 
She said she bought a little bit of jewelry, so. Let's see if she has anything good. Okay. You know, I want to look at this this camera. I really believe that I haven't found a single thing here yet. So I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can find something. Um, I walked through several times and new luck. If I give you one more shot, I found a little bit of jewelry. Ba -da -ba -ba, ba -da -ba -ba. This will probably get like a, a copyright. <laughs> I'm gonna steal some more candy. <laughs> Thank you. Is it alright today or? Just started, just started. I made a little bit, so not the rent yet, but getting there. I bet you wanna sell this. Yeah, that would be a good one. I would die by the dashboard, lying lonely in the deep dark night. Oops, sorry. taking longer than I told Maria I was going to the bathroom and I did and I was like you know what why not no why not walk around and just see still so far nothing that I want Thank you. 
So I'll just look at it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. And I'm not taking a stress test. I think I would pass it. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of stress. No, I'm just joking. All right, uh, let's see. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm not gonna find anything today. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna turn this off, head back. So we had too much stuff to do today. We weren't going to do any garage sales because there weren't really any anyway. But we just drove by a garage sale today sign. So let's see. Maybe there is something, you know, to shop. There, you said there's only like one other sale today, right? We would have went to. Yeah, it would have been an estate sale. So, all right. Do you think it might be that Asian lady again? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. She runs a lot of, or she, she does run sales. But okay, we're going to one sale. We're going to see what happens. One sale is going to be... This is the one sale. It's going to be a bust. Let's see. Hey, how are you? Hi. Too windy. It was windy last night, too. Yeah. Let's see. My choice clothes. It looks like you have more stuff this time. It looks like you have more stuff this time. I think I came to your other sale. You didn't have as much stuff though. I have a lot. You do? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if there's anything I can use. My turn is on. Right, let me look over here. Right, I'm gonna turn this off and look harder. Guy there last time. No, 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 it was a bus. I, well, there was a guy sitting there. Um, but that's the okay. Do you remember the lady we used to go to, the older lady, all the time? And we go to her sale. She says, "I'm gonna sell my house. I'm gonna sell all this stuff. I gotta get out of here." Well, what's that this? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay. So anyway. That might be the old guy. That's, that's probably the old guy. Well, there was there's was a lady uh, across the street, an, uh, an Asian lady, a nice lady, but she always had like weird junk. So that was her sale, and I think we went to her a couple of weeks ago. I was like, oh, that's the lady. Yeah. yeah. They've been having it every week. Oh, really? Okay. For like the past three, I don't know how they're getting away with it. I've been ignoring it because it's well, 309 McLeod. Well, I'll show I remember you. the address. Yeah, I'll show you how they get away with it. Big sale, Slocum Way. That's, that's that guy, that old guy. Right. Um. And he does it too all the time, right? But I think the like that guy posts his address. I think the the reason that lady gets away with it is because she posts her address. Uh, what in the newspaper I know it's on the sign? Three hundred nine McLeod Avenue. No. Okay. Okay, because I saw a sign, but I didn't see her address, uh, unless I just didn't see her address on it. There's her sign. Yeah, you're right. No, it says sale today. That's it. Just an arrow. Sale today. So, I mean, I guess when the officer comes down and, he, uh, and says, hey, are you putting these signs on the pole? She'll go like, no. <laughs> Why is <laughs> like, all this stuff outside your house? <laughs> so, uh, I'm, cleaning I'm cleaning the garage, you know. <laughs> it's not my signs. I'm not having a yard sale. It's just a coincidence, <laughs> I guess. But, yeah, so that that's it for today. You know, we had too, much, too many errands to run and take care of. So, another day. Tomorrow. Maybe.